Hey guys, today's Halloween, finally. I've waited a long time uh, for this day to come because I had planned on making some reviews, Halloween themed and not so Halloween themed. Um, in my last review you saw Blade from the animated series. This, this time we're going to take a look at yet another Blade. So sit back and enjoy the show. Today we're going to take a look at uh, a Marvel Legends figure. I believe this is my first uh, Marvel Legends review, but well, since today's Halloween, who uh, could be better for this review than Blade, the Vampire Slayer? Like I said, this is the Marvel Legends. Uh, version of him, far superior than his three three quarter inch counterpart, well, in my opinion. Uh, I never liked the fact of Blade being bald, but well. So vampires, beware, because he's going to hunt you down today. He's going to pop off the screen, the computer screen, and hunt you down. Not just uh, He comes with a motorcycle, which is the same as the one depicted from the movies. Like I said, Mr. Snipes is a great actor and the best dude to portray Blade ever. There's never going to be a better Blade than him. Uh, of course, the figure is removable from the. You can remove the figure from the motorcycle. I'm going to start off with the motorcycle since it's the one I have in my hand. Um, Motorcycles packed to detail. We see the headlights in here, some more uh, lights in the upper part, some uh, well, flat buttons or lights, or I don't know what they're called in here. Of course, the uh, handlebars. No rear view mirrors, but well, he's played, he doesn't need them. I think this is the fuel cap, and the seat, of course, the engine protected by uh, thick layers of. Uh, steel or some sort of metal, the the wheels, the uh, feet straps or whatever they are, I don't know, the uh, kind of the brake or the stand support, I don't know, uh, the wheels, of course, uh, we see some blue, uh, where are they? There they are, well the camera doesn't show it to you very well, but we see some blue uh, lights, which I've just noticed in this lower part of the motorcycle. And this uh, has got a uh, some peg hole. If you have a nail on your wall, you can uh, hang in there, like I did. But I can't show it to you right now, unfortunately. And we'll make a full uh, display figure. Here is Mr. Blade with his thick leather coat. He's, I'd say he's 99% uh, screen accurate. And why the 99 you might ask? Because he doesn't have um, the uh, red um, cloth or red um, paint scheme or whatever in the inside of the, uh, the uh, coat. But well, not a major. He comes with his shades, which I've always thought they were cool, along with Cyclops's shades and visor, which are removable, like so. And here we see an extreme likeness with Mr. Wesley Snipes. They even got the uh, hairdo and the tattoos lined up in here. He's got his vest with some uh, shuriken, or I don't know what these are. If some someone knows, please uh, feel free to write it down in the comment section. Type it down, sorry. Here we see his silver stakes. And on one of his legs. Uh, the boots and the trousers, his gloves. And she has a sword, which is removable. Uh, his his sword with an acid edge for vampires. Very detailed on the handle and the standard issue black and silver sword 
with a little edge here. Of course, the edge is not sharp, so don't worry about that. Um, the sword fits in the back of his coat like so. And I'm going to tell you why in a minute. Um, the coat is removable, so I will show you right about now. It's a pain in, in the neck to get out, but I'm going to. I've already done this uh, a couple times today. So, yeah. Now that I've taken out the coat, I'm going to review the coat. Uh, like I said, it's got some, uh, it's made out of fake leather material, but it's it's also nice because it gives you that uh, feel that it, it actually looks like leather, uh, but uh, it's actually very, very well made. I congratulate Toy Biz on this one. I'd say he's probably the best uh, Legends figure by far, along with Nick Fury and Bishop. Uh, no, I've shown this sword already. You have Mr. Blade without his glasses. Uh, like I said, the Wesley Slimes likeness. We see that he's very pumped up. He works out a lot. Uh, he's got joints and articulation pretty much everywhere. Uh, we can even see the veins popping off his bicep. And well, he's got some pouches in the vest. The vest is very, very well detailed. Now, on to what I said earlier. We even see the, the uh, back pockets in his trousers. This is what makes the uh, blade's sword, I was about to say blade's blade, but not, uh, blade's sword stay in place. It's a little uh, peg or peck hole or whatever. Sword fits nicely in his back and of course it fits nicely in either his hands. Like so. He also comes with a gun, which is a standard issue blade gun we see in the movies. I'll pack the detail as well, as well with this uh, little thing that you pop on and off. I don't know what it's for. And again, it fits nicely in both his hands. It came with he came with a boomerang the, this blade figure, but I I've been trying to look for it, but I I can't find it. Uh, if I ever find it, I'll show it to you in another review. So here's blade with his sword and gun. So I have to keep the, the gun elsewhere because I'm displaying him with this motorcycle. Uh, put shades back in again. Uh, now that I've uh, reviewed the figure without the coat, I'm going to show you the rest of it. In terms of articulation, like I said, he's packed with articulation everywhere. He's got articulation in the neck a uh, ball articulation in the shoulders wait I can pull this off I know it's got articulation in the shoulders really tight articulation I, I'm afraid I'm going to break it so I'm not going to uh, so biceps uh, double jointed uh, elbows swivel uh, forearms swivel wrists, and one of the most uh, important points of articulation, well at least by me, this is uh, the Legends trademark, he even got articulation in the fingers, and the uh, the index finger is, his articulation is apart from the other fingers, as you're seeing here. They did this on purpose so that he could uh, hold the gun properly. He's got articulate swivel waist, uh, he's got ball jointed, yeah, ball jointed uh, hips, swivel thighs, and double jointed knees, uh, swivel, I don't know what these are, I don't know what they're called, I'm, I forgot, I'm sorry, this part of his leg is swivel too, uh, jointed an uh, ankles, and he's got the uh, foot articulation or tour articulation. So that's it for this review guys. I hope you enjoyed it. This is my last uh, Halloween review. 
I'm going to leave you guys now so that I can upload these videos right now. Hope you can watch them today. Till next time, take care, and may the force be with us all. Happy Halloween, guys. Eat a lot of candy.